to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J. Coming today with another morning coffee video boo. And today's video actually ain't got nothing to do with coffee. It has everything to do with how to Daniel fast, okay? Today I'm going to be talking to you all the things about how to Daniel fast because my ministry, HisDaughtersCloset.com, we're having our corporate fast coming up very soon. And we have a free guide for you. So if you're someone who wants to fast, who wants to join us on this 21 days, who wants to consecrate in the Lord, get your prayer life up and release some things, go ahead and get your free guide in the description box below. You're going to get so much tips on how to prepare for your fast and everything in this guide. And also, you're going to get to go ahead and connect with a lot of women and get the help you need to have a successful fast. So if you're here for this boot, all I want you to go ahead is like, subscribe, and get your pen and paper out because it is time for us to talk about how to Daniel fast. But before you click out of here because you're like, I am not about to do no 21 days of fasting. I'm not about to do it. I want to challenge you real quick. If you're somebody who's afraid to fast, you need to fast. If you're somebody whose schedule is overwhelmed, you need to fast. If you're somebody who feels stagnant in your life, you need to fast. If you're somebody who feels like the fire you once had for God is gone, you need to fast. If you're somebody who feels like you don't really know where you're headed and you're just kind of going and going and flowing with the going with the flow, but you really don't know where you're going at all, you need to fast. If you are somebody that feels lost, depressed, anxious, you don't really have a lot of peace, you need to fast. If you're somebody who feels like God is distant and you don't hear the voice anymore, you need to fast. If you're somebody who feels like you need some healing in your body, some parts of your body not functioning right, you need to fast. I want to just tell you, if you're a Christian and you're believing God for his word, for his promises, you must fast, boo, okay? And if you're somebody who only fasts once a year or once, once in a while, every few years, then I want to tell you, you're not going to have the real spiritual growth you need in your life if you only fast once in a while. So let's get into what fasting is. So fasting is a time when you consecrate yourself in the Lord and you withstand from something in particular. And many times in the Bible, we see people withstanding from foods or certain types of food, okay? So the particularly the Daniel fast is actually a fast where you abstain from meat, dairy, and processed foods, okay? So that takes a lot of stuff that's on the inside of the aisles out, and it, and it leaves you a lot in the produce section and the, the beans and stuff like that, okay? That's really what fasting, this Daniel fast is all about. It's about eating healthier food. But we see in the book of Daniel, there's two different types of fasts. One fast is a 10-day fast that Daniel and a group of his people do together and they get healthy and they look good, right? That's the 10-day Daniel fast. And then there's also a 21-day Daniel fast that he does, but he doesn't even call it a fast. He actually calls it a time of mourning because in the previous chapter, he's petitioning to God. He's praying to God. He's pleading with God. He's saying, help us, God. Deliver us, God. We need you, God. We need to move, God. We need to see you, God. He's saying all this in chapter 9. And then in chapter 10, we see Daniel on three days of mourning. It says he didn't eat anything good as in dessert. He did not have wine. He wasn't eating pastry and stuff that they were used to he actually was eating just stuff like this and he was in that time he was consecrating himself with the Lord and so that is what our Daniel fast is about it's not about the food that we might eat or we don't eat it's really about a time of consecration with the Lord and there's a quote that Dr. Miles Monroe said he said that if your life doesn't change during your fast you're not fasting you're just dieting and what he's speaking is it's not that God is going to come in and do a major change but first you have to adjust your schedule so if you come home every day and you relax for an hour and scroll on Instagram, that hour now is given to the Lord. If every Friday you go and get some brunch with your girls, that brunch time is given to the Lord. So if every evening you start to just relax, you scroll, you go do, that time is going to be a time with the Lord. That's either prayer, reading your word, or meditating on your word, right? So if you're always addicted to YouTube or you're always watching Netflix in the evening, that means you're going to limit that time and give that particular time to the Lord, okay? That is a time of consecration, but I want you to really realize that on this Daniel fast, you don't just want to be focused on your meal prep and all that. You want to be focused on your heart's posture. And the heart's posture is the biggest goal of the fast, okay? So why I'm saying your heart's posture is because I have done this in the past where I had the meal prep great. Like my food was ready. I knew what I was cooking, but I hadn't prayed all day. I, or I hadn't sat with the Lord. And so the Lord said, okay, your, your fast looks good, but I haven't heard from you. You know, your food is prepared and you look close to me, but I ain't even got to give you the real revelation of what I want to break through you, what I want to bring through you on this fast. I want to tell you guys, it was um, in 2015, I launched my YouTube channel without even realizing I was launching a YouTube channel. I was just doing a 21 day water fast. 
okay? And I only made it to day 19 and it's all documented on here. But I want to show you that it shows me that the scripture is true because Jesus went in 40 days of a fast and when he came out, his ministry started. And I want to tell you, when I came out of that fast, my ministry started, okay? See, but God wasn't caught up on the numbers. See, I felt like a failure. Oh my gosh, I had to reach 21 days and I'm day 19 and the final life evening, I just couldn't take it anymore. I was so hungry. I was looking a mess and I just ate, right? That's what I did. I felt so, I felt like a failure because I was like, I didn't make it 21 days. But see, God is not focused on the number. He's focused on your heart's posture. So in those 19 and 21 days, did you seek me? Did you lean on me? Did you hunger after me? Because there are going to be people that are going to make it to your, the 21 day mark, but they never sought my face right? They never got delivered. They never got their healing. They never got relieved of some things. They never got the revelation. And so that's the key of your fast is you want your fast to not be about, I've got to make it to 21 days. You got to say, I got to get what God has for me. I got to get the revelation. I got to get the healing. My family's got to get broken free. I got to get broke free from anxiety. Depression can't go with me in this year. I need deliverance. I want to tell you the next thing is with your fast, boo, you got to have a go. So you got to have a go for yourself. And I know it sounds super carnal, but believe that if you put a go out there, God is going to do it. And you have just enough grace to get you through the fast for God to do it. There was a fast I did a few years ago. My ministry was just kind of starting. It was really small. And I did a fast. But in one of the ends of the fast, I believe that God would give me a speaking opportunity. I hadn't got to speak in years. And I wanted to speak again. I knew I was called to be a speaker. And my ministry was really small. And somehow... I got a speaking opportunity at the end of that fast and I got to travel to another state and I got to minister and that refueled me like it was nobody's business. Okay. But it was the fast that got me in the position. It got, it didn't move God. It just moved me out of God's way to have enough faith to believe that God could do it. Right. See, I want you to realize today that the fast is not going to move God. It just moves your walls and your barriers out of God's way so he can continue to flow through you. He can continue to bless you. He can continue to reveal new things to you. And so that's what I want to challenge you today with your Daniel fast as we prepare for this realize the food is great. We want to eat healthy. We want this to help change our lifestyles, help change our waist, all that great stuff. But the reality is let's change our hearts. The goal of this is that it's going to change our hearts. So I want you to be encouraged. And I will say 21 days can sound like a lot, but it's really not boo. The 21 days are going to come or they're going to go with us fasting or with us not fasting. So why not use those 21 days to get consecrated in the Lord and to start your year powerfully? Okay. Okay. So I hope you got blessed by this. Make sure you get that Daniel fasting guide below. My goal is to give you multiple videos to kind of help you on your journey. Um, so we have how to Daniel fast, how to prepare for your fast. And we're also going to have some Daniel recipes and things as I show you along the journey of Daniel fasting. And I hope this inspires you not to get caught up on, I've got to look like I'm fasting correctly, but make sure your heart, your prayer, your scheduling time for prayer, you're scheduling time to get with God because I will tell you that is what sustains you. It was when I wasn't making that time for God, I would be shaky on my fast. But when I was so filled up in the spirit, boo, that I was good on the fast. So I want you to realize that it's getting filled up. God wants to give you new revelation. He wants to give you new things this year. And so a Daniel fast is a great way to get filled up with the Lord, but also to sacrifice a few things. And give those to the Lord and say, Lord, for this particular time, I'm sacred and giving this to you. So that's kind of the gist of the Daniel fast. If you want to fast with me at hisdaughterscloset.com, all you got to do is click the link in the description box. Get the free fasting guide and join me and maybe over 20,000 other ladies on a corporate fast. Okay, this is going to be a powerful move of God. I'm praying for you, boo, and I'll see you in my next video.